Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the girl with the pig. You mean talk about the girl with the pig? Like, look at the weird girl with the weird pig? How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we've won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> All right. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Move! <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was on. Uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> He looks ridiculous. The Ender Dragon was a huge dragon, not a pig. It's a costume, Jesse. The whole point is to look ridiculous. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Cheers. 
Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a Dragon War, Ruben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't. No. You can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up? Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh. It's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three, team! Prepare.
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the nether maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the nether. Who the nether cares? Okay, nether maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. Nope. I don't like the look of this. It's like everyone in town is here. Right there is a limited edition. Man, it's crowded. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the build going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. 
The winners will also meet in person Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. We'll call it the, uh... The Redstone Wrap. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build, and we'll worry about ours. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no! Come back! It was Aiden that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. Uh, uh. I don't see him anywhere. Ruben! The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben! Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm. Pig tracks. Just oink. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. definitely belong to a pig. Hmm. There's no way Reuben made these on his own. Hey Reuben! I got a carrot for ya! Where are you, buddy?
Ruben? Ruben? Come here. Ruben? Are you in there? Stupid pigs. Ruben? No, not you guys. Pigs. All pigs but Ruben. Shut up. Ruben! Ruben! Oh no. You in there, buddy? Oh jeez. Please don't be toasted, Ruben. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You're going to have to make a run for it, okay? 
I'll meet you back in town. Get out of here! Now! Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa. Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still. It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. What's in it for me? Respect, admiration, not getting punched in the face for saying that just now. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted, you're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? <laughs> it's like this is your first time crafting or something. Put the stick at the bottom. And then the two stones above it. when you make it yourself. <laughs> Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Ah, oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. 
Even if I wanted to get to know him, there's no way Olivia and Axel would go along with it. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right. Let's jump. You know, you dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We looked everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't have found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? The saddest of the sad sacks? Cheer up, guys. We'll get them next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <coughs> ah! And 
just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm a very busy man. I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here. But we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You better not be toying with me. Take a breath, would you? I'll show you the skull when I'm good and ready. Unacceptable. I'm not wasting any more time with you. Ivor! Not a moment too soon. Your partner here almost soured the deal. Ah, well, that's not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or... You'll...